Welcome into the Blaze Radio Post Game. I'm Gavin Shaw alongside Bobby Krause. Arizona State just wrapped up a 68-55 victory. Bobby, it was kind of a coming out performance from Manny Wilkins. Obviously, last week they were conservative. He only threw for 180 yards, doubling that total or nearly doubling that total tonight. What did you make of it? I really thought that it was just Chip Lindsey giving more of the offense to Manny Wilkins. Last week, I think they wanted to try and keep him under wraps, not really give away too much of the playbook. But tonight, they let it fly. And there's more to come. But tonight, he really had to make some big plays with his feet, with his arm, with his reads. I, I thought it was a very good performance, but I think that there's going to be even more coming from him. All right, and on the other end of the ball, Arizona State gives up over 50 points, over 600 yards of total offense. So it's hard to call it a flawless performance. And yet Todd Graham comes out post game and says he thought they did a great job, particularly in the second half. What did you make of the Sun Devils defense? I have to agree with Coach Graham because Texas Tech is arguably the best offense in the country. You can definitely make the case for it. If they score 50 on you and you win, you take it with a grain of salt and say that's just the product of the system. Yes, they have a lot of work to do on the defensive side of the ball. Now, they're facing a lesser opponent next week in UTSA. That's no gimme, but it's going to be a bit of a break from the air raid offense that they saw tonight. I think that there's stuff to work on, but overall, they beat one of the best offenses in the country, and I think they have to be happy with that. So the Sun Devils move on to 2-0. The Pac-12 schedule starts up. They get Cal here right after that UTSA game. How do you see the Arizona State season going now that they got past their biggest non-conference hurdle? I think you can be a lot more confident in the Sun Devils after tonight's win. A lot of people picked them to lose this game, and a lot of people picked them to lose this game badly. They come out 68 points on offense. Kalen Balaj obviously ties an FBS record with eight touchdowns in the game. That's remarkable. But I think that this can be a really big momentum builder. If they can finish off UTSA next weekend and go into that Cal game 3-0, they'll be riding high. And who knows, if Manny Wilkins continues to get more and more of the playbook at his disposal, the sky's the limit for what this team can do. All right, so Todd Graham coming into the night had never lost a non-conference game at home. That's still true for Bobby Krause. I'm Gavin Shaw. Keep with Blaze Sports for continued coverage of Arizona State football.